My name is James Viasana, and my role in Smoothie Factory is the founder and CEO of Smoothie Factory. A Smoothie Factory started in 1996 in Carrollton, Texas. That was our very first store. The idea behind Smoothie Factory originally is that uh, we were looking for a product that was made with all real fruits, whole fruits. Uh, at that time, I was an aspiring Olympic athlete and uh, I needed to consume about six meals a day. And uh, doing that was very challenging in terms of getting the correct nutrition in there and purchasing these meals at affordable prices. So the idea came in mind uh, later on when I was at the university to create this concept as part of our senior project. And uh, that's originally the genesis of Smoothie Factory, that we would make smoothies with real fruits only without concentrates and purees and we would have it at affordable prices. Smoothie Factory has been very successful over the years, in large part because of our franchise partners. We set, of course, the agenda, the goals, the objectives for the company, but we work in conjunction with our master franchise partners to grow the brand successfully. My everyday job routine uh, comprises of several components. A large part of it is setting the agenda for the company for the next two or three quarters. The funnest part, the most exciting part, is the research and development uh, because we come from a restaurant background and uh, we don't come from a venture capitalist or strictly a business background. So R&D is a big part of our company and I think a large part of our success. Uh, the th third component, I would say, would be the training and the support. So it's not unusual that the executives in the company are also trainers, and that's something you don't typically see in other franchise brands. So there's a lot of synergy that happens between uh, that relationship and a lot of efficiencies. The obstacles and difficulties we face in achieving success primarily have to do with deviations from our systems of operation. If you have an operator that isn't purchasing the right standard specifications, or maybe they're not uh, doing things the smoothie factory way in terms of our steps of customer service or our quality guarantees, that's going to affect their business, that's going to affect our brand as a whole. Uh, the second obstacle I would say is sometimes their sanctions put on certain countries and that disrupts the supply chain uh, where they're not able to, to purchase their ingredients that we specify and bring it into their country. What people love about Smoothie Factory product is that it's all natural. It's made with all real fruits and real ingredients. We don't use any concentrates or purees or sorbets. These are fillers that a lot of brands will put into their smoothies. They're less costly than real fruit. So I think they might not know exactly why it tastes so good and why it tastes so natural, but that's the primary reason. And the second reason I would say is that we have very attractive pricing and we make a conscious effort to whatever market we go into to make it affordable so that we can do a volume sales strategy. I perceive the Cypriot market as there's a big demand for health and wellness products. There's a tremendous amount of health conscious consumers, but I think they're having a hard time finding establishments that will meet that uh, need. So Smoothie Factory fills that gap and I just see a tremendous potential of growth. Even though it's a country of 1.17 million, there's a tremendous opportunity for uh, expansion in this market.